Do you want to have any sock of water? Can you have any sock Next to face the dragons, another married couple, Stephen and Jacqueline Pye. Sorry, it's not whiskey. <laughs> ching, ching. Cheers. We're bringing in a unique way of buying and selling whiskey. Best of luck. We got into it because about five years ago I started collecting whiskey and I thought there's got to be a better way to do this. Can you believe you're here? Uh -huh. It's like a dream, isn't it? Pinch me. <laughs> <laughs> to awaken their interest, Stephen and Jacqueline intend to offer the dragons some free samples. We have brought not just one drum, they play the cards right, they could have more than one. We might give them a double if they're really nice to us. Crack open some of the good stuff. So can these sellers of scotch bottle up a deal in the den? Good afternoon, dragons. My name's Jacqueline and this is my husband, Stephen. And we are here today to ask for £65,000 for 10% of our business, Scotch Galore Whiskies. Scotch Galore was founded in 2019 to satisfy the needs of modern consumers in the selling, collecting and investing in whisky. We provide a free-to-use online platform and with every sale, we earn a small commission. Before Scotch Galore came along, customers would have to pay an auction to sell their whisky. And from the point of putting the whisky in to turn it into cash in their pocket, this would normally take about six to eight weeks. And it was an auction, so there was no guarantee on what the customer would receive. So this is why we want to offer our customers a one-stop whisky shop. And as Stephen says, we're not an auction. The customer will fix the sale price, and that is the sale price that the customer will receive back once their bottle sells. And the sole bottle is picked up by our courier and with the buyer within 24 hours. The seller is also paid within 24 hours as well. So we will maybe have questions. <laughs> um, and, but before you do, we would like to offer you a wee dram. On ice? We've got ice and water in all of your boxes. Oh, right. <laughs> I've never seen you so excited. An online platform for buying and selling whiskey is the brainchild of Stephen and Jacqueline Pine. So is the water supposed to go in the whiskey as well? It, but it's a, per it's a personal. Not. You can no, I, exactly, Deborah. <laughs> the couple are seeking sixty-five thousand pounds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my God! It's a triple. <laughs> oh. oh, she's got a plan in her hand there. <laughs> I can see where this is going. In return for a ten percent share in their business. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Good to your health. Slange. Never above you, never below you, always with you. Oh. Until now. They've already succeeded in raising glasses, but can Stephen and Jacqueline go on to raise investment? Jacqueline, Stephen. Uh, look, it is a marketplace, and I'm not in that world, but I'm assuming there are people around the world Serious collectors who say, right, whenever there's a certain type of whiskey with a certain age, they buy it anyway. Yeah, correct? correct. Our customers are everyone, not just Scotland, the UK, worldwide. Tuca drinks whiskey every day. Does he? I've never been out with Tuca and he hasn't been Only drinking when I'm whiskey. out with Peter. I don't drink whiskey all year. Only when I'm out with Peter, he makes me drink whiskey. Really? He's a bad influence. Maybe a good influence. Could be either or. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So should we actually, should we, you know, yeah, we're just we having do. a chat now, aren't we? Having a lovely time. Could I ask you a question? Yeah, to I take the total value of every bottle of whiskey that you've got on your website. Uh, about half a million. What would it all come to in value? About it's half a million. I think as much as yeah, that, about yeah. half a million. What's your typical sort of value of the whiskies that people are listing and selling? A few hundred, maybe three, five hundred pounds? Um, average yeah. price. Well, the average price in the UK selling price for single, single malt, malt is £434. Blimey. In auctions. But we have had customers yeah. spending over £20,000. I recently had a customer spend nearly £13,000 on a single bottle. Mm. How do you know it's not fake? Um, there is a lot of whiskey fraud. Yeah. Um, Unless you open the bottle and you test it, that is the only way yeah. to do it. And, and people are not going to do, that. to do that. 
But also as well, we've got full traceability. So the bottle that comes in from the customer and it gets sold on, if that was to come back as a fake, that would then be a police matter and then it would go back to the source that sent it into us. One other thing that I would like to <coughs> mention is we are so confident in what we are offering here today that I actually brought along three bottles of my own collection mm. that are worth 65, 70,000 pounds, which we're happy to put up as a guarantee against any investment that you're looking to make or prepared to make. Well, that's a first in the den. An unusual offer of quaffable collateral from the whiskey collectors turned entrepreneurs. Now, Stephen Bartlett wants to establish if the couple's finances tot up. When did you start this business? We started in 2019. So tell me about the numbers then since 2019. 2019, our turnover was 112,000. Gross, 106. Profit, six. Okay. Second year, 485,000. Gross, 520. We made a loss of 35 that year. Wait, Hold on, what, you, you said your gross is 520? Basically, our top line is the sales. So we've sold £485,000 of whiskey and we retain the 10% commission. But we made a loss that year and... Help me out here. Yeah, basically because of overheads, we were down uh, 35000 I don't think we've got a problem with the 35000 I think it's the 520. Is it? Are we maybe getting our figures? Your cost of sales can't be... Can't be higher. Higher it than can't your be higher. It, 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 it's I think not... your gross profit's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just get to the bottom line here, is that you've charged 10%. Yeah. So if you sold 485, you made 10%. Yes. Yeah. Right. So you made 48,500 gross profit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's okay. correct. So whatever you do, it's 10%. Yeah. That's your yeah. maximum gross yeah. profit. That's a very low gross profit business. Mm. That's the reality. Moment. Yeah. Right. So I just want to understand what the cost of running the business is, basically. Um, so we're looking at, I think it's about £1,600 a quarter for the rent of the unit. Mm -hmm. um, £1,600 a month. It's not... A qu quarter? No, what, about 16 grand, 17 grand a year? A year. Yeah. There's about mm -hmm. 15000 on Google Shop. I think we spent something like, it was about 22000 on, um... The shipping. Yep. Then we had costs for handling the transactions. I right. can't put my finger on. We don't know that. No, I don't know the exact um, what they charge. Is it a couple of grand or is it twenty grand? I would say an estimate if I was given that about eight thousand. Right. Um, so I'm adding this all up. I can't get all your numbers to add together. We're not the best at figures, and that's probably I'm our, our guessing weakness that. and our downfall. Um, and that is why we're here today. We do need a bit of guidance, but we know where the whiskey world sits, and we know that we can take a bit of that market. We're taking a bit of it just now. They know their single malts from their blends, but when it comes to distilling their numbers, Stephen and Jacqueline are on shakier ground. Will Peter Jones be prepared to take the long view and splash out on shorts? Stephen, Jacqueline, look, I suppose my immediate issue is the fact that you've put a glass ceiling on the business immediately because you can't do more than 10%. We are really not even on the first rung of the ladder with this business. Yeah. Auctions just now, there's one that sell 3,000 bottles month. per month. We are doing about 200 bottles a month. So the growth for us is there's massive growth. Well, it is, but if you double the size of your business tomorrow, yep. you still only generate 90,000 gross profit before any cost, before salaries, before marketing spend, before anything. We might have a few glasses of whiskey together, but there won't be enough profit to distribute back to me as an investor. So for that reason, I'm going to say that I'm out. A blow for Stephen and Jacqueline, who've lost their first dragon. Does Deborah Meaden share her fellow Den stalwarts' downbeat assessment of the duo's future liquidity? I've actually got the same comment, but for a slightly different reason. You are so tight. 
on your margins and your numbers are all over the place. We are sorry for not making that clear. Oh, yeah. And we obviously have an accountant. Um, yeah, but, but wait, so, so, so when you've got a business with high margin, yeah. you've actually got a little room to think, well, OK, maybe we're a little bit out here, maybe we're a bit out there. But yours are so tight that if you get something wrong, it's too late for your accountant to say a month later, yeah. oh, did you know this is a problem? Yeah. You haven't got a lot of room to play with. OK, then. And it was lovely of you to offer a, a guarantee, but that it shouldn't be the reason for investing. Investment, yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm sorry I'm out. Stephen, Jacqueline, um, just want to say, first of all, congratulations on starting a business that has clearly got market demand. The, the, the bit I struggle with is when a marketplace becomes big enough, if yours does become big enough, the expectation for you to be able to authenticate these bottles if someone's spending 15, 20, 30,000 and protect against foreign counterfeits is huge. And what that does is it means that they're gonna add extra operational demand to your, um, your process. That's gonna eat further into a margin that you just don't have. So for that reason, unfortunately, I'm gonna say that I'm out. The thing that struck me is you are never going to make a lot of money taking the 10% out of this business. However, it is going to give you first refusal and first sight of the best deals in the market. And listening to you talk about it, you've obviously got a really good eye for that. Honestly, you can make a killing. But for you, not for me or any investor. So best of luck with it all, but I'm out. You know, it's interesting. I've cracked that. I'll give you another you one. Want another one? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I said he could have mine, he just hasn't got any advice. <laughs> but, but the one thing, I, I've, I've listened to everybody, and the only way you're going to make money is through your knowledge of whiskey. Yep. That is your secret weapon. Unfortunately, as an investable proposition, for me, you know, it doesn't make sense. However, I wish you all the best. Thank you, and Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for listening. And I'm out. Thank you. Have a safe trip back. We Thank will. You. Thank you. We haven't good drank luck. any whiskey, so we should be fine. Oh, good. I'm, I'm the one that's in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> all the best. Bye. Right, nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Sadly for Stephen and Jacqueline, they must depart without the backing of a dragon. Oh, I don't think we've before. No. Their failure to secure a deal may have left the entrepreneurs feeling a little deflated, but in the den, spirits remain high. Tuka, you're pissed, aren't you? Oh, yes. No. Tuka drank his quick. Mate, you ruined it, one. isn't it? You could ace that. <laughs> oh, well. We tried. Mwah, mwah, mwah.